Well, we do most of our work in ArcGIS. There are other platforms available, including the open source software package QGIS, which is something I do a lot of my spatial analyses with. Let's go through the process for creating an Avenza map using the USGS base map services. So we're going to use the national map web services. And that is something we can find on the nationalmap.gov link in description. And here we have a number of base maps, other data available. We are going to use the USGS Topo base map, primary tile cache. We're going to click on WMS or Web Map Service. And that is going to allow us to access this URL, which is what we're going to use to connect QGIS to this web service. So let's go to our document in QGIS. And the way to do this is layer, add layer, add WMS, WMTS layer. And now we want to create a new service connection. The name is going to be USGS USGS base imagery and the URL we're going to paste in that one that we just copied from the website. Okay. And now we need to say connect. And that has brought in these layers that are going to be used for our map. So if we click on layers, finally we have to click add. And that has added this data service to our map. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the state of Maine. So here's Maine and the first thing you notice is that this is a pretty warped and distorted image of our fine state. The reason why is that this is in WGS 1984, which is the default language of GPS systems, and is also the format used for data storage. So this is unprojected latitude and longitude data. So the first thing we, we need to do is project this into UTM 19 North. So if we go under Project, Properties, we go to CRS, that's the coordinate reference system. If I start to type in NAD, it will zoom in to my previously used format here. But if I were to type in, say, UTM zone 19, which we know we're in, we have a variety of options down here in coordinate reference systems of the world. We are in zone 19 north. And if we zoom all the way up here, we can look for our familiar NAD 1983 UTM Zone 19 North. And down here it shows you the area where this coordinate system is appropriate for use, and we are well within that region. So we can go ahead and hit uh, Apply or OK. And that, once it finishes, Thinking about things will give us a view of the state of Maine that looks correct. So now let's finish zooming in on Fort Kent. So here's our thriving city. Here's our campus right under here. Here's our ski hill. Here's our Fournier Biopark. This is where we do our labs. So let's go ahead and create a new print layout, which is the means by which we export our data. So project new print layout. And we are going to call this Fort Kent map for Avenza. Okay. So now this is why I was not full screen before. We have this print layout to which we need to first add a new map. And that's this guy here, a little page with a plus. Click that once, click, hold, drag, 
and that gives us our map area. Now, how do we move this map around? How do we zoom in? How do we zoom out? We can change the scale here to, say, 24,000. Or we can change the map itself by zooming in or out. And then we can set map to the canvas extent, the canvas being this map over here. So by doing that, we can select the area that we really want to be working in. We want to show our campus. We want to show the ski hill. Be very patient with these layers as they load. There's a lot of data going back and forth here. So set map to canvas extent. That loads in. All right, here's our map for the day. We have the St. John River, we have the Fish River, we have Campus, we have the Ski Hill. We are ready to export our map. To do that, we have the Export as PDF, or we have Layout Export as PDF. Brief warning there. So now we have Port Kent map for Avenza. And by default, this saves the uh, georeferencing information for the PDF. So if you are exporting a PDF, you are exporting a georeferenced PDF if you go through this method. All right, that has exported. Now we can open up our map, have a look at what we've uh, created. This looks a lot sharper than it does in the preview. They always do. So the preview that you get is uh, necessarily a pretty coarse version of the image that you're exporting because if it drew all the detail every time you zoomed in or out, it would never load. So this is a pretty good looking map. I'm going to export this or send this to my email and then to my phone so I can confirm that this works. Very good, it does. So now we are ready to navigate in the field with Avenza Maps with a map that we created using a free web service from the United States federal government using the open source GIS platform QGIS.